Welcome back to Calypso Moon. Welcome in. If you're new, collective, I'm doing a reading for you. Um, really, honestly, I think this is a specific reason for um, I'm picking up on the message that somebody is not accepting their gifts or their role or their path. Um, I'm getting that somebody's having a difficult time um, accepting the spiritual aspect of things. I'm feeling like that somebody feels like they might be having mental health issues and going crazy, but in reality, they're actually experiencing an elevation in their abilities. All right, let's see what spirit has for you pertaining to this message. Stranger curiosity. Exactly. Straddling two worlds. I knew this card was right here. Okay, so yeah, this is telling me that this 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 new world is new to you. Like you're not you don't know what to expect. And we got 53, 52, and 53 right here. You don't know what to expect in this situation. You're between worlds. You're traveling between realms. You're wandering between realms, and this is strange to you. You're curious about it, but you're also feeling like that you might be losing your mind or that something is not real or the re only reality that you can accept right now is the 3D that you've been used to. But I do feel like somebody's gifts are um, elevating and somebody is needing to find balance here too. I'm getting like maybe somebody was only using their light aspect. I'm hearing the word trampled. Somebody might have been getting trampled on mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And when I say the word trampled, it's translating to me to mean being stepped on or ran over, not having boundaries. Benefactor, grace and generosity. Yeah, you've been very generous to people in your life. That's what I'm getting here but I don't see that that's been returned to you. I'm still on a fire. Something's burning. Hold on real quick. Okay, sorry about that. I was really smelling something burning, like, and I'm getting brimstone. I don't know why. Empty well, time to replenish. Okay, so somebody has been used to giving so much and putting so much out that um, they're running low. Somebody could be energetically low at this time. I'm also getting here too that while you're at this low point or this uncertainty here with this straddle in between worlds, there's attacks happening to you. There's some type of spiritual attack, psychic attacks happening. Okay. Okay, I don't think any more messages. Okay. Lost compass. All right, these are the last ones. Spirit is telling me. Spirit of the river moving toward adventure. So this is something new for somebody here. Um, somebody could just be having an awakening right now. And this whole situation is very strange to them, but they want to know more about it because it's real enough to where it's getting your attention. I'm seeing the judgment card, wake up call. All right, somebody's getting away from a group thinking or the um, paradigms of their family's uh, perspective, thought processes, the way things traditions the way things have always been done the way things are, have already always been thought about yeah these two cards right here tell it all you're stepping outside of the norm and it might feel like you're lost right now because you are straddling between two worlds but i feel like you're going to be finding your place here soon i don't think that it's where you think it is I feel like you're being emptied for a reason here too so that you can get filled back up with new knowledge and new information. Possibly of the spiritual realm. You could be doing some studying. I 
I'm also getting here for somebody too that they um may have been um for some of you guys you've been on the light side too much and being too generous to people and for others there you've been on the dark side too much but I'm seeing that somebody needs to find balance here Okay, let's get some more messages. Tell me about this stranger curiosity. Yeah, this is your life path. This is a, a, an accumulation of all the lessons in your life coming together. Uh, and not even just the lessons, but it's an accumulation of uh, different events, different circumstances that you've known to be abnormal or supernatural, um, even coincidental, what you're thinking in your mind. But now you're starting to realize and be curious, like, why did these things happen? And you're being shown right now why these things had to happen the way that they had to happen. Because this is a part of your life path, your soul's path, should I say. It's a little bit deeper than your life's path. I feel like spirit is trying to guide you again with the balance there there's a lot of assistance around you at this time or a lot of uh guidance that somebody's trying to reach out to you spirit guides your uh angels whatever you believe in show me straddle in the room Yeah, this is still telling me that somebody's trying to block out the reality of the things that are happening to them. They're not taking it for a reality. I'm getting like a matrix vibe here. Like somebody doesn't, there's a world beneath this world. Man, that movie Blade is coming to my mind. And that movie Wesley Snipes was all like, you're used to the world that you see, but there's a world beneath this world. Some shit he said like that. I feel like you're trying to block this out. Somebody is resisting this. Yeah. Okay, but well, something's becoming so heavy to where you can't block it anymore. The Seven of Wands in reverse, Ten of Wands. I'm also getting here too that somebody has really um, diminished themselves from giving too much. Now they're they're unable to protect their energy at this time, which this well is right here too. Empty well. It's time to replenish. You, somebody is down to the point. Be trotting. I don't know why I'm getting that. Um, I don't even know if that's a word. Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. The truth is being spoken and the truth is about to be revealed. There's about to be some sign that you can't deny here. That's what I'm saying. Show me this empty well. Okay, so it's time, I'm getting it's time for somebody to cross over. Now, I don't mean die, but it's time for you to cross over and accept what is happening. Instead of staying straddled in, in the in-between, like, oh, I don't know, I'm not sure. This uncertainty that's here, Spirit is saying it's time for you to accept this. Wake up. Knight of Wands. Okay, um, what I'm getting here too is that uh, I'm still getting like this attack. There's some type of attack happening here that you aren't being able to defend yourself because you haven't fully accepted what's going on. You're still thinking this is the mundane, but it's not. This is not just the mundane. There is a world beneath this one. I don't know how else to keep saying this. And it's saying that you need to take charge of the informa information and knowledge that you have to take action to protect yourself and to move forward in this. This is where you're going to find your strength, being proactive, knowing what's out there and being able to protect yourself against it. You need to repen replenish yourself. I'm getting this is happening. This is real. This is real. This is real. 
Show me more info, group think. Tempers coming out. Okay, so this is telling me too that somebody is um, needing to find like-minded individuals. In this case, usually I don't say follow a crowd for no by no means necessary, but in this case, somebody is so much so in disbelief about what's happening to them spiritually. It's gonna you're gonna need support. You're gonna need community. You're gonna need people that think like you think to help your mind come to terms with what's going on here. So yeah, somebody needs to go out there and start. Um, there's about to be some messages, some downloads coming to you, but I'm saying that you're going to be traveling towards people who are, or people are going to be coming towards you. Y'all are going to be in each other's orbit. These people who are going to assist you with helping you understand what's happening here. And you might like, you might happen. There's going to be some type of, uh, inklings or guidance or, you know, sometimes you're just going to happen upon people or information or situations that's going to help you um, understand this. Three of Wands. So you've come to come this far on your path. Ooh, sorry about that. Oh my God. That just irritated the hell out of me. So, yeah. Oh, my God. Somebody's not getting sleep. Somebody's not getting rest here. Um, you've come so far on this path. And you might feel lost right now, but something is about to come in for you that's going to help clarify things. That's going to help. I'm getting, like, a peace of mind. At the bottom of the deck, we got the devil in reverse. That could be that attack that I'm getting, that I'm feeling. Well, we got the ace of swords in reverse under this deck. Somebody is not being honest or you're just not seeing something. The devil is a lie is what I'm getting. No, the devil is not a lie. But what you know about the devil could be. Okay, so we got the um, King of Swords and Five of Cups coming out. This is talking to me about a connection, possible connection or some still some information too that's coming through. I'm not taking those. All right, Spirit, show me this tree of life, curiosity. We got the Ace of Coins. Okay, so I'm getting with this Ace of Coins that somebody is getting an opportunity here to make a choice. It's like to go into a different direction here. It's still a part of your path. It might be a detour I'm getting. We got death in reverse. I'm also getting there could be a near-death experience for somebody or there could have been a near-death experience for somebody that caused this awakening. Usually, a lot of times, that's how it happens. Show me this Nine of Wands straddling two worlds. We got the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so there, there's um, something that's still blocking you or you're blocking something from coming together. I'm getting like there's supposed to be a merging of both of these worlds, but you're blocking it. Show me this Ten of Wands, Seven of Wands in reverse. We got the Queen of Cups coming out. Oh my God, I feel like everything's stopping me from trying to get this message out. Temperance in reverse here at the bottom of the deck.
somebody's trying to interrupt this. I feel like this could be this queen of queen of cups here. Somebody's trying to block this, and not only you're blocking it on your. In, oh my god. It's like you're blocking it mentally, maybe, maybe, but somebody else is trying to create blockages for you too. Does somebody could be trying to create doubt here too? Somebody needs you as a benefactor. Somebody needs you asleep. I feel like somebody could be stepping into some finances here that somebody that's gonna benefit somebody else, or somebody else thinks this is gonna benefit them. And it'll be more beneficial to them if you didn't know your power or know how to protect yourself. Yeah, I'm getting here too that somebody's been benefiting from your generosity for a long time. And not only your generosity when it comes to um, material, financial, emotional support and stuff like that, but also your energy. Somebody's been sucking, suckling your energy. This devil in reverse. Something's being blocked off here, though. I feel like you're getting some type of divine assistance here. Show me this thing of wands. If y'all saw that card that flipped, that was meant for somebody. Oh, hold on, this one fell on the floor. We got the Knight of Swords coming out. There's some type of communication coming towards you. that's going to allow you to take action. Whatever this information is, this message that's coming towards you right now, it's going to allow you to take action, some type of action, justice, exactly. Look at this. Spirit is right there with you. There, the, Something's about to reverse. Something's about to come around in your favor. And spirit is leading the way. A higher power, your higher self, the divine the universe, God, whatever you believe in, your spirit angels, spirit gods, your ancestors, you have protection here. That's what I'm telling you. Show me this temperance. We got the seven of pentacles coming out. Temperance also talks about timing. Seven of pentacles talk about timing, patience, having patience to get things just right, to balance things out in a perfect manner and exact balance. And then the seven of pentacles the minor arcana is telling me here that, um, you know, you have to have patience in order for things to grow, in order to reap what you've sown. You have to sow the right seeds. I'm feeling like, oh my God, this is somebody, star seed. Somebody's a star seed here. And you're about to link up with your tribe. That's what I'm getting. You're being guided to link up with your tribe. Strength, courage, yes. Fortitude I'm getting. Somebody can message you out of the blue and this is going to be exactly what you need to be able to move forward. Four of Pentacles. Show me this three of Pentacles. Something has been planned or somebody's planning. Four of Wands in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Somebody's planning. Tell me more about this Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Either you're an Earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or there is an Earth sign that's planning or that's going to be coming in as a mentor that's going to help you plan or help get you back on track. Somebody's going to find them a mentor here, someone I'm getting. Temperance in reverse again. Oh, this could turn out to be a lover for somebody. What I'm, what I'm really getting here, though, is that somebody's going to help this turn around. Because we got temperance in reverse here. When you meet this person, you might be out of balance. And you're waiting for... When the student is... Re <laughs> I can't even talk. When the student is ready, the master will appear. That's what I'm getting here. That's what I have for you. Those are the messages. I really appreciate you guys. 
and I will see you on the next one.